So I played hockey from youth through university. I was considered a very, very good athlete. The alumni director of my high school, he had said, you know, AJ, there are very few kids who graduate who go on to actually pursue sports. You're probably one of the only ones um, who's achieved that level of proficiency. And so I thought perhaps it was just a mentality that some young Jews have that we're not built to do sports, and I wanted to change that. So I thought, start a foundation to get young religious Jews and Israelis the resources and coaching that I didn't have and that is so scarce right now. But the first step in doing that was accomplishing something truly that could stand out and could resonate. I tried speed skating, was actually told that my carryover skills from hockey were very well suited to becoming an adequate speed skater. I didn't do speed skating because I thought that if I was told it was impossible to do skeleton and I somehow did skeleton, it would have an impact that was greater than just going out and doing speed skating. When I was given the scouting report that I was terrible and that there was no hope for me to qualify Israel for an Olympics, I sat down, I googled that evening, um, how many days are there until the 2022 Olympic Games? And it turned out there were 2,884 days. So I wrote that down on a piece of paper. Shabbos was actually coming in that evening. So it was right before Kiddush. And I write down a piece of paper, 2,884. I'm like, until 2022 games, I'm not stopping until Israel qualifies for an Olympic sliding sport. So from then until 2018, it was about 1,440 days, but we did qualify for 2018. Growing up religious, you really learn quickly that the kippa means something, who you represent means something, and changes how you operate. In sport, you run into people from all sorts of socioeconomic backgrounds or have views of Jews which are different than what you'd want them to be. And so when you operate with them, you have to act in a way that you really are sure that you are leaving a positive impression. So every time I was operating with other athletes, I knew that I was representing not only myself, but the people of Israel and the land of Israel. In the Olympic season, there was a lot of doubt as to whether not only would Israel make it, but whether I would be the athlete to represent Israel. Before every race, I would say, Sher al-Malos, Esai el Hari. I turned my eyes towards the mountains. It feels as a confidence booster. It focuses me on why I'm doing and what I'm doing, and it gives me confidence that Hashem actually cares about you. I always made sure to speak with my Zaydi all the time throughout the season, I would make sure that he gave me a bracha. I'm behind, but Zadie's giving me a bracha, Zadie's not giving them a bracha. Like, I got this in the bag. 